Hello friends, welcome back to a new vlog. Sorry about the lighting, I'm propped up against my window but my blind is still half down because it is quite early. Um, but I basically thought I would vlog the next couple of days. I don't really know why, I just felt like it and I actually have quite a lot of fun stuff coming up so I thought I would take you guys along with me. Um, first things first, we're actually going to Brighton today. I'm going to go and see my friend Amy because she lives there. You guys all know Amy by now from like all the uni vlogs. Um, I used to live with her, I'm sure you know that. Um, I've not seen her for a little while so I thought I would go today. I've got a day off from work and we're going to go to Brighton and have a fun day. The weather isn't looking too great, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's fine, we're gonna make do. And then next weekend, I'm actually going to see the vamps, which is wild. And you guys know that I always vlog whenever I see the vamps, so I felt like it was only right to stick to your tradition. I'm going with my friend Susie, who again, you guys all know by now. Um, I've actually never been to a concert with Susie before, so it's gonna be really fun. She very kindly bought the tickets for me a long time ago, um, and I just forgot about it. So yeah, that's happening next weekend. And I also have, I don't know if you can see the box behind me, you might not be able to see it but there is a cherries box back there i'm going to be doing a cherries haul at some point i might try and do that for tomorrow for you guys um so that will be in this vlog as well but yeah i am about to head to the train station it's nearly half past 10 and yeah let's go and have a fun day shall we so like i said the weather isn't great today i really wanted to wear a dress but it's just not happening so instead i've gone for this white shirt which is from zara um these you can't really tell I don't know if I'm going to have to show you. They're like flared trousers. I got them from ASOS and I'm obsessed because they're actually not too long for me, which is great. Um, I've also just got, I don't know if I can show you, like some chunky trainers on. Um, this bag, which is from Shein, but I got it second hand, so all good. Um, and I will obviously have to take a jacket as well because the weather is not the best. <laughs> so it's actually now the next day firstly apologies if my camera is not in focus i think my camera's broken i'm sorry if the autofocus is also really really loud i feel like i need keep meaning to apologize um about that in my videos but i just keep forgetting about it until i edit and then oh my god it literally drives me insane um please know that i am saving up for a new camera but g7x's are not cheap second of all i'm gonna have to make this kind of quick because i've actually lost my camera charger I have no idea where it is. I've ripped my whole room apart trying to find it and I just cannot find it. So I think I'm gonna have to order a new one, but for now we're making do on one bar of battery until this dies. So fingers crossed it lasts for the rest of this like little section of the vlog. Um, third thing that I'm gonna apologize about, this collar. It's gonna drive people mad, I know. Um, I've ironed it the wrong way and I can't seem to fix it. So <sighs> we're just gonna ignore it. I feel like I should also mention the outside if you can hear noises and all that sort of stuff i'm so sorry anyway um yesterday in brighton was so much fun me and amy had the best day ever honestly it was like just the best the weather wasn't fantastic which is why i didn't film too much because it was so incredibly windy um and i don't have a wind muff for this camera again something else that i'm gonna have to invest in i think when i order a new charger i'm also gonna order a mini tripod and a wind muff because i'm going to edinburgh in a couple of weeks and I know that it's probably going to be a bit windy, so I should probably invest in those things. Um, but yeah, we had the best time. I'm sorry that I didn't film too much. We just did the classic like Brighton day out stuff. Like we went shopping, um, we went to the pier, we went out for food. We actually went to JB's Diner, which a lot of you guys actually recommended me on Instagram. I put a thing up basically being like, tell me where's best to go for food in Brighton because I always end up going to the same place when I go to Brighton, which is the Breakfast Club. And don't get me wrong. I love the breakfast club 
with my whole heart. It's one of my favourite places to eat, but I wanted to try something different this time. So we went to JB's Diner, which is like an American diner. Very similar to like TGI Friday's vibes, but obviously it's like an independent place or like a much smaller chain. And it was so, so, so good. I had a burger that had JD sauce in and they let me swap the burger for a vegan burger, which was really good. Um, and we had these mini cheesecakes and they were just top tier. So, so, so good. Um, but what I really wanted to come on here today and talk to you guys about is cherries. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I was going to be doing a cherries haul and the box is right here as you can see. So this box was very, very, very kindly gifted by the team over at Cherries. Um, I have wanted to work with Cherries for so long, um, especially if you're a student. Cherries is one of those places that is just perfect. Um, it's basically like a home bargain style shop but on an app and the deals are incredible. If you're a student, honestly, you need to get involved with this because it is so good. Um, and they literally stock everything from like homeware, cleaning supplies, they even have like snacks um, and like health and beauty stuff. And yeah, it's very up my street. I love anything like this. So when they reached out, I was so excited to finally be able to work with them. I do actually have a discount code for you guys. I'll leave it on the screen. It's Becca Small World, which will get you 20% off your first purchase when you use the app. Yeah, like I said, all of this stuff was gifted. I basically was given like a voucher and I could go on there and choose whatever I wanted. So I thought I'd give you a little haul of all the stuff that I picked up. Just a pre-warning as well, this haul is literally going to be the most random thing because when I say I went a bit crazy, like I went crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna pick stuff out at random. The first thing I got is this Makati Gold um, iced coffee and this is white chocolate flavored. I am so excited about this. I'm gonna try one in a minute because I think this is gonna be really, really good. I love a nice coffee, um, especially now that I'm working in like a cafe. I drink a lot of coffee and iced coffee is definitely my favorite. The next thing I got is this foldable like storage bag. Um, I have to store a lot of stuff under my bed because my room doesn't have a lot of storage. So I thought these would be perfect because they would fit under my bed and I can store like jumpers, chargers, all that sort of stuff in here so that is why i picked that up i did actually get two i think um it's somewhere else in the box next up i got some chocolate orange fingers because these are my absolute favorite chocolate fingers are my favorite anyway add chocolate orange to the mix even better oh i forgot about this i also got the caramel flavored of the iced coffee um i think i'm more excited about the white chocolate i know that i love caramel iced coffee but i think white chocolate would be more interesting um but yeah i picked up the caramel one as well and what i like about these is they don't have milk in them already like a lot of coffee sachets have like skimmed milk in them and obviously i don't drink dairy so i can have my own milk for this which is really good next up i got a reed diffuser this is island sunset scent i love a good reed diffuser so i'm very excited about this i actually bought one from primark the other day and it doesn't smell of anything so hopefully this will smell nice because I need one. I also got another reed diffuser in Forever Berry, which is cherry, cranberry, and citrus. I love anything berry scented, so I'm also very excited for this one. I don't know which one to open first. Next up, I got my all-time favorite moisturizer, which is the Dove um, Coconut Oil Moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff. I get through so many bottles of this. Um, and I thought, whilst I have the voucher, I might as well get another one. So yeah, I literally burn through it like it's water. I I love it. The next two things I got are just some chocolate. So the first thing is a Cadbury's Dark Milk and the other one is a Cadbury's Dime Bar. Um, I love both of these, they're two of my favourite chocolates. And I love that cherries have like a snack section because I was one of those people at uni and I don't know if anyone can relate, where like I would always just want a snack and I'd never have any, like I'd do a food shop and I would always forget to buy snacks. So I feel like cherries is great because if you're on there buying like, you know, your cleaning supplies of your room um, or like kitchen stuff, and then you see the snacks and you're like, ah, snacks. Speaking of snacks, I also got some chocolate buttons because I couldn't resist. I've not had chocolate buttons in so long. And I used to love doing like a scoop of ice cream, some chocolate buttons, strawberry sauce and sprinkles. So got some chocolate buttons. Next up, my mum is going to be really excited about this, but I got the lemon lavender scent of the Fabulosa spray. Um, I've got this mainly to use in my room to like clean my own room. But again, when I was at uni, I would use this sort of stuff all the time to clean my own room and also like our communal spaces as well um so yeah definitely recommend the next one is really really random and i think i was inspired by the love island reunion which was absolutely crap by the way don't you think anyone who watched it let me know in the comments um but this is the love island mai tai body mist i'm guessing it smells like a cocktail i don't really know um oh it smells good it smells like 
pineapple-y, like, like literally like being on holiday. I am a sucker for a good body mist. I've just run out, which is why I thought I'd give this a go. It's really small as well, so I feel like it'd be perfect for like keeping in your bag or something like that. The thing I love about cherries is that they have like different things in stock every week. So for example, this was one of the things that was in stock when I made the order, but obviously like the scent might change or the brand might change. I just think that's really cool that they always have like a little new in section. So every week you can see what's new on the app and maybe try something that you wouldn't like necessarily have seen anywhere else. I also got a Dove moisturizer, but the tanning version. I really, really love this. I use this all the time, especially in the summer when I want a little bit of tan. Generally, I don't use fake tan all that often, but this moisturizer is just really simple and easy to use. It's actually in the fair to medium version. Um, they didn't have the dark one, but to be honest, in the winter anyway, I probably won't want a dark tan, so. Yeah, love that. Next up, I picked up a crease release because I've literally just run out of mine. If you're a student or just generally lazy like I am, um, you will know that you literally don't ever iron anything ever. This is really, really handy. Generally, when I do my washing, I'll like spray it on my clothes as they're drying. And it tends to stop things from getting creased, especially like this sort of thing, like this jumpsuit that I'm wearing literally gets so creased. Even if I'm just sitting down, it will crease. So this is perfect to kind of stop that. and get out any last minute wrinkles if you want to wear an outfit so yeah I always make sure I have some of this and I've just run out so I also grabbed some Febreze fabric refresher like I said cherries is perfect for like cleaning products all that sort of thing especially if you're in uni I feel like if you were in first year especially it would be so handy to have like in your accommodation um but obviously at, at the moment I'm living at home so I didn't need to buy like tons of cleaning products but the Febreze fabric spray I love and I always like to spray it on my bedding and on my clothes so yeah big fan of this and I'm sure my mum will probably use it as well. Alright on to the last couple of things. So the first thing I got is this really random, again the thing I love about cherries is they stock brands that like you would never see anywhere else. Um, for example this perfume that I've got it's a strawberry scented perfume. Um, as I mentioned I love anything berry scented so I'm excited to see what this smells like. Also, the bottle just looked really, really cute. So, yeah, it's from the brand Langham, Langham, Langhamese. I can't pronounce that, but yeah, again, I've never heard of it before, and I thought it'd be nice to try something different, especially, like I say, as I had the voucher. It meant that I could try some brands for free that I would never normally think to try. So, yeah, I've definitely saved the most boring items till last, um, but I got some cotton buds because I always need them. Um, and these ones are biodegradable ones, like the middle bit isn't plastic, so yeah, these should be pretty good. I always need them for, I feel like you always just need them for everything, right? And the last thing I got is a Vaseline, this is the cocoa butter one. I love Vaseline, everyone does, it's just, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, and I also got it because really randomly when I dye my hair, um, because the hair dye is so dark, I always get it on my head. Um, and if you put Vaseline on your forehead and um, like around your ears, the dye doesn't stick to your skin basically so that's why i got that because i need to dye my hair today um and yeah that is everything i got from cherries i'm gonna move the box out of the way so i can sit properly but yeah i hope you enjoyed that little haul thank you so much for cherries for working with me and again make sure you use my discount code which again i'll leave on the screen um and you'll get 20 percent off your first order on the app um and yeah i really hope you guys enjoy shopping cherries especially if you're at uni right now i feel like you will love this app like I wish I had taken advantage of cherries whilst I was at uni because honestly I think it would have saved me a lot of like shopping trips and it's just so affordable and cheap which I love and as a student it's very essential um, but yeah I'm gonna go I am gonna write as suspected my camera has literally just died as I was editing that last clip so pretty good timing to be honest basically what I was just gonna say was hopefully I'll be able to pick this vlog back up at some point I think I'm gonna Amazon Prime a new charger to be honest because I literally cannot find my charger also what is on my face <laughs> I don't know um but yeah like I said I literally have not been able to find my charger so I think I'm gonna Amazon Prime a new one just so that I can carry on with this vlog otherwise I don't know when I'm next gonna be able to use my camera so yeah I hope you enjoyed the cherries haul and I'm sure I'll see you guys again at some point in, in this vlog good morning everyone so as you can tell today i'm actually back on my camera although the battery is flashing and i did charge my camera overnight so that's a bit of an issue i'm gonna have to figure that one out um i did get a new charger but i'm guessing it's not worked so 
that's good. Um, but today is a really exciting day because I'm actually heading to Bournemouth in a little bit. Me and Susie are going to see the vamps tonight. Um, so I'm obviously going to film that, take you along with me. I probably won't take my camera in just because I don't want to carry my camera on my phone. So I might just take my phone. Um, but I'm sure you guys won't mind. As you know, I see the vamps every year. So I'm very excited to see them again. It's been a while. And we're also doing something else, which is a little bit exciting. Hence why I'm wearing like quite a nice outfit today basically we have been very kindly invited to have lunch at a restaurant i can't remember the name of it give me two seconds it's called brasserie blank and it's in the marriott hotel in bournemouth um i have never eaten there before i didn't even know it really existed but they invited me and susie along very kindly for a like gifted meal so just a disclaimer that is gifted i haven't been asked to talk about it on youtube it's just for instagram um i will be doing a reel and i will probably film a few clips in here as well um just to show you guys what i end up getting and i'll obviously let you know what i think of it um but yeah that's why i've made a bit of an effort of my appearance today and we'll be getting changed later on before we go to the vamps as well because i don't really want to wear this jumpsuit to the vamps um but yeah, so that's happening this afternoon as well and I'm very excited. This is the first time that I've ever been like invited for a meal somewhere. I think it's going to be so cool. I feel very lucky and kind of can't really believe it to be honest. Um, it's a very fancy. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to try and work out where my camera battery is flashing um, and let's go to Bournemouth. All right, I'm in the car with Susie. Just driving so I won't distract her too much. <laughs> my camera battery is still flashing. I don't know if the charger I got just doesn't work, but it's flashing um we are currently on our way to the marriott which is where the restaurant is i think i mentioned earlier um i will obviously film as much as i can i'll take my camera in but i don't know if it might just be easier to film on my phone because they basically want me to make a reel so it might just be easier to insert that here anyway um but how excited are you susie i'm so i'm food, free food i like, know oh my god free food and it's like really good food as well apparently so i'm very excited the, we looked at their instagram and it looks so incredible um and yeah it's really nice being back in like bournemouth as well obviously it's always nice to be back with a chauffeur it's yeah. amazing as well. <laughs> of course <laughs> we've also decided we want to try and be front row for the vamps tonight we yeah. don't know how well it's going to go because if you guys have been following me for a while you'll right i'm back on my phone now because <laughs> my camera did die i've got to try and figure out what's wrong with the charger but um like i was saying if you guys have followed me since like the 2017 vamps days you will know that we used to queue for hours on end to get front row Tonight we're only getting there an hour early, potentially not even that. Mm. So we could try earlier. I don't know. 12 I don't want to rush the food, but that's no, the only no, thing. This could, has to be. Perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can get near the front. We're gonna try. If we can't, then we're just gonna accept defeat and like have loads of room at the back and have a yeah. nice time. Um, I don't know where this has suddenly come from. Like my inner 2017 fan girl was just like <laughs> arisen this morning. Like I woke up and like I was ready. So. <laughs> Also, I don't think I mentioned I got my nails done yesterday and they're now really like funky rainbow colours. Big fan. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you in the restaurant. Hello, as you can tell, we're not in the restaurant. We're actually at the train station now. Um, we're heading over to Boscombe. So the vamps is actually not at the bit like it normally is. It's actually at the O2 Academy. And if you're in or from Bournemouth or have been here before, you'll know it's like in Boscombe and it's a bit of a track to get to. So. Mm. We thought we'd get the train because it might be easier. Susie looks lovely. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we went out for the meal and I thought I would just update you because I didn't actually film anything for the vlog. I will insert a few clips in a second, but um, I filmed it mostly for Instagram so it'll all be like vertical. Vertical? Yeah, vertical. Wait. Like por portrait. Portrait, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> um, it was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. It was, I can't believe was, how nice it was. It like, we were so like, lucky. Oh, so good. <laughs> and we had a view right by the sea, so we mm. could see Bournemouth Sea, Bournemouth Sea, Bournemouth Beach, mm. um, and all of that. And it was just lovely. The train is here, <laughs> so I'm going to end this clip. But what I will do is insert the clips from the meal now. And thank you so much for watching.
it's now a few days later as you can probably tell sorry if you can hear road noise my window's open um i have literally just got home from work i bought myself a strawberry fanta because you guys know how much i love strawberry fanta and a new shop opposite my work has just started selling strawberry fanta which is very exciting but anyway i'm back on my camera sorry this vlog has been very all over the place between my phone and my camera and just all over the place in general um like i mentioned i lost my camera charger and the one i ordered for some reason the first time i used it didn't work even though i let my camera charge literally all night so yeah it's working now my camera battery says it's full so fingers crossed it stays that way because i'm actually going to scotland in two days so i wanted my camera for that um but looks like it is working so that should be fine um i've just got back from work hence my slightly sweaty appearance um but i thought i'd just quickly come on here and end this vlog like i said i'm really sorry this vlog has been all over the place i didn't film as much at the vamps as i was intending to for a couple of reasons firstly like i said my camera died so i took my phone um but because i've been using my phone all day to film the um brand deal at the restaurant my phone died so i didn't actually get much footage at all i think i inserted it already but i think i've got like two clips although to be honest it was quite nice to not film it um this was my first concert in over 18 months so yeah concerts mean a lot to me as you guys know so it was nice to go back finally and it was just nice to not film it to be honest and also where we were in the crowd we were very like compacted in and there was a girl behind me who couldn't see very well i mean i couldn't see either but she was even shorter than i was so um i was very conscious of like putting my phone over my head because i knew that would have meant that she wouldn't have been able to see and i wanted her to have a nice time as well so yeah didn't film too much but i hope that's okay there are lots of vamps vlogs on my channel if you are interested in watching them um but yeah i hope you did enjoy this vlog i'm gonna end it here like i said i'm going to scotland in two days so get ready for some fun scotland vlogs i'm not sure how many there's gonna be yet i'm not sure if i'm just gonna do one vlog from the whole trip or if i'm gonna do like one for each day i'm really not too sure it depends what we get up to um but yeah i'm gonna go drink my strawberry fanta and finish editing this vlog hopefully you're gonna be seeing this the day that i'm filming this if that makes sense um but yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all again very soon in the next vlog bye <laughs>